spray, bitch. Yes, your boy got J's out the asshole. Yes, your boy got J's out the asshole. Yes, your boy got. Yes, your boy got. Yes, your boy got. Yes, your boy got. Yes, your boy got J's out the asshole. I used to get them just to style on them and flash holes. And over the years, I done acquired mad souls. Had niggas like, damn, Dave, how long you had those? It ain't hard to tell. Diamonds in my damn chain. This shit hard, man. Welcome back. It's your boy. Detroit Dave, and I'm right back at you with another one. I'm so happy to be able to share this experience with you. Today we're going to reflect on another one of my sneakers. Y'all know how this goes. If you're new to the channel and you've never seen one of my videos before, I would like to thank you for coming to check me out. I definitely think you'll enjoy it, especially if you love the culture. This reflection series has been going on for about three months now. And I got a bunch of other videos that you can check out. If you like this one, you can check out the reflection series. If you like the reflection series, check out my videos before that. If you end up liking them, hit that thumbs up. Share them so that people that you know will be able to come through and enjoy what I'm doing as well. And if you really like these videos and my other videos, then go ahead and click that subscribe button, man. You know where it's at. I definitely appreciate you guys coming by and taking 20 minutes out your day to reflect with me on this sneaker over here. Now, if you've been rocking with me, if you've been following me since my Reflections Wave, or if you've been subscribed to me for years and been watching videos like What Is Heat, or seeing what I picked up in my third quarter cops, or seeing my videos that I did the top 10 releases for the year, then welcome back. You already know what it is. And you already know why you're hearing this fabulous music. <laughs> Speaking of fabulous music, 2007 release from Nothing to Something is playing in the background. For my subscribers, you already know why. If you knew, go back and check my Reflection series and I'll explain to you why you're hearing this music in the background. Now, this is going to be the last week for this one right here. Next week, we're going right back into something else from 2007. This 10, 10 year anniversary for 2007, man, it's a lot of good albums that came out, and we're going to go through some of them, man. So like I said, for more information on that, just check my last videos. Now, like I said, I am Detroit Dave. Y'all know me as the pre-order plug. Now, some of, some of you guys that have been subscribed to me may know me as the OG King, which I still am, you know what I'm saying, because I'm an OG in the game. However, my OGs are gone, and why would they call me the pre-order plug? Because I'm the plug for pre-orders. Right now, if you follow me, which I'm over 2,600 followers, so I know you guys have been rocking with me. But if you happen to not be, and this is your first time interacting with Dave, at D-T-R-O-Y-T underscore D-A-V-E. That's my Instagram. You'll see the pre-orders that I have open right now which are those super limited black and pink Jordan 12s for girls, all the way from crib sizes to extended to nine and a half. I can get you all of those. And I also got the burgundy 12s that are releasing in men's sizes, and they also come in full family sizing as well, from toddlers all the way up to men's size 15. So if you need any one of those, you don't want to worry about the hassle this weekend, please holler at me. Price is listed on my Instagram. You'll also see Dead Stock Easy Zebras, size 11 and a half, posted right now and available for sale. Ferrari 14s, size 10 and a half, ready for sale. OG Laney's, size 10, with the box and the card, available for sale. 2008 Gray Spizikes, only worn one time, and I'm letting them go for the low of a hun bun. I also got the limited collection P-Wing Varsity Jacket. All of the other items are sold. The Varsity Jacket is the only thing left. And all of that is available on my Instagram to see pictures. Or if you watch my reflections from before, you'll see them in the video. Um, I like the song. Bro, bro, bro. 
and I ain't even from Brooklyn. Y'all know where I'm from. I'm from a D, baby. But uh, this song right here, it got Biggie for the sample, for the hook. Hove on here, Fab. I fuck with the song. So anyway, check out my IG. Y'all see all y'all see all that on there. Now, for the reason why we came, this is Reflections, episode fourteen. And we about to jump into this Nike box. Now, as you can see, this is a retro Air Jordan 1. As you can tell by the Jordan 1s that have been releasing, the high OGs that have been releasing since 2013 have all come in this box. But it's over 20 different colors of, of uh, Jordan 1s that came in this box. This one is the Air Jordan 1 Chicago. Now, I'm thinking about letting this sneaker go. I might let it go. Dead stock with receipt if you're interested. But I was asked, and as y'all know, I hear you all. As you know, I've been asking you guys for a request. If you guys want to see me reflect on a certain sneaker that's in my collection, just type it in the uh, comments here. Any comment on any video or any post that I've made on any Instagram message. As long as you do it on IG though, I just ask that you tag me so I can see exactly what's going on. And I'll make sure that you get your wish of reflecting on a sneaker out of my collection. Now, as far as this one, it was a guy in my comments. I don't know where it was. I must have overlooked it if it's still there. I scanned all of my reflection videos. I scanned all of my Instagram posts within the last few months. And I haven't seen the comment anywhere. So if you watching, bro, I appreciate you. If you subscribe, I apologize. But um, you asked to see Chicago Jordan 1. You like to see it? Well, here it go. Like I said, dead stock. Nice, soft leather. I like the color red on here. But we about to get into this sneaker right here, man. Uncle Murder. I don't fuck with the nigga, but he on the track. Dead Star, that's where my nigga Biggie from. So yeah, man, Dead Star Chicago's. Now, we about to get into this, this sneaker. So the year was 2015. And we were knee deep into the Air Jordan 1 craze. I remember in 2011 and prior, Air Jordan 1s were not highly sought after. There may have been a couple of, of uh, Air Jordan 1s that people really wanted. I know the um, the anniversary ones that came in the case was fire. Um, you got those limited ones like the Levi's pack, the Jordan brand classic, but that came out in 2013, so I'm not even going to talk about the Jordan brand classic. But, um, well, speaking of Jordan Brand Classic, the original one that came in that was the Retro from 2001, um, which was a mid, I believe. Um, was it 01 or was it 03? I know it came in the face box. One of them, I can't recall at this point. But um, the black and gold Jordan 1 was a popular one, all patent leather joint. Um, and then, of course, the 2001 Breads, 2001 Royals, a... Hey, see, some of these tracks on this album is so timeless. This shit can come on the radio right now, and you'll feel like it was current. Hey. So anyway, the Chicago one, man. Like I said, before 2011, it wasn't too many sneakers that was that sought after. Of course, you got the bands that dropped in 2011. Um, one of the best quality Air Jordan ones you're going to get. And so, um... You know, we were knee deep into the craze in 2015 because they had all, we had already got Royals, Breads, Shadows in 2013. A version of these also came out in 2013 at the top of the year, but they had the Jumpman Air right here. And they had a Jumpman in the back, if I'm not mistaken. And um, those were highs, but they were not high OGs. So, this was the first one we got in 2015 um, because we also got the beautiful shattered backboard in 2015 as well um and uh 
Yeah, because the Laney's had come out in 2014. I believe that like Clover's Laney's highlight reels was where the Atlanta ones. I believe those all came out in 2014. So yeah, 2015, May. I had the Chicago's before. Um, the 1994 retro, if you go back to one of my OG videos, you'll see them in there with the box and everything. Um, and I just got them because I wanted to have at least one of all of the retros from there because I had a retro 2. I had both retro 3s, 94. Um, when they first retroed, I had the white cement, black cement 3s. I had a pair of 2s and I had Chicago 1s because I really like that box. That's the best Air Jordan box that I've seen. Although this Pinnacle Flight Jacket 6 box is kind of fire too. Like it's it's close up there. Um, and so I had the Chicago's at that point, but I never really liked them for myself. Um, and it was actually crazy. I didn't realize people really liked them like that because I did some pre-orders. And man, prices shot through the roof that Saturday. So I had like maybe five or six extra pairs and I was letting them go for 350 you know what I'm saying 325 to some people um this one dude bought three pairs so I let him get all three for 300 but um I was letting them go for 350 and um I ended up having like three extra size 11s and I was like well since I got three of my size I might as well keep the guys you know what I mean um and I still never wore them and I didn't really have a strong appreciation for this shoe but after the year over the years and me Really enjoying my Air Jordan 1s. I recently got fragments. Y'all know last year I got fragments. Earlier this year, a couple months ago, I got the OG bands. So, you know, um, I've been really getting into my Air Jordan 1 thing. And um, I started to like them, man. The quality is, is better than the 2013 run. Um, not as good as Shatters, but definitely good quality. I would say it's almost as good as Frags. Frags is a little bit better. Um, and then, obviously, Shatters are, like, the best next to, like, Bands and Pinnacle Crocs. Um, so, anyway, the pre-order. Um, I was out, me and my son was out. Um, I think we went out to camp about 2 a.m. Just so we can grab pairs. Um, ha, 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 ha. Joke's on you featuring Pusha T. This shit hard. Push is also another underrated artist. So, um... How I got them, we was camping out. Uh, I went to one of my favorite locations in the city to go camp when Air Jordan 1s come out because they show love. And uh, if ain't no more people in line, you can keep going back through, through the line. So I went out there. Shout out to them. Um, and we was out there, and we got all the sizes I needed. So I was just grabbing extra sizes. Ten and a half, elevens is what they had. They had a bunch of ten and a halves, a bunch of elevens left. So I just kept grabbing those. I had two extra ten and a halves um, and three extra elevens. Money, 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 got it twisted, money, man. Money, money, I'm like, ha 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 ha. You niggas make me laugh. Come on, if it don't make me mad, I'm like, ha 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 ha. And so that's how I got the Chicago's. And um, I wasn't even really tripping. I wasn't gonna keep them. But recently, man, when I went to Sneaker Con that came here to Atlanta um, a couple weeks ago, I was going through my different sneakers, thinking about what I might sell. And I grabbed these out, man, and um, I looked at them, and I put them next to my foot just to see how, how they might look. And um, I'm actually kind of starting to like them, man. But I ain't going to lie to you. If you got 500, you can get them. 500. Let me know. You can get these guys for the five. But, uh, yeah, they cool, man. Like I said, quality's nice. Mostly red, as you can see. Red undersole. Comes with the black laces inside of them. But you also get the white, which I see a lot of people rocking these with white laces. I guess that's the popular thing to throw the white laces in these guys. And then you also had the red laces. If I was to keep them and I was to rock them, then I will most likely rock them with the red laces and throw that jersey on. Hopefully you can see it in the camera angle. But if y'all if not, y'all have seen it, y'all seen it in other videos. I know you can see that one. But that red is a little bit lighter. In the red over there. So I'll probably rock them with that jersey. Red laces. You know what I mean? Or something else. Throw them on with whatever. You know. Um, but like I said, yeah, the quality. You can see the grain and all of the leather all over. And one of the differences in the way this is built, why a lot of people like it, is because the build is so nice. It's very similar to the OG 1985s. It's got a bit of a curve up on the toe box. The toe box is also deeper 
than a lot of other Air Jordan ones. Um, so I mean, it's more space from top to bottom. The curve on the back, it, it holds the ankle a little bit more than your 2013 releases. And even the frags, the frags are even more straight up and down. Um, and like I said, the quality of the leather all over is definitely really, really nice. And there you have the 2015 release, Air Jordan 1 Chicago. So yeah, man, I got these boys. They are dead stock. That's how I got them. It was kind of like happenstance. I wasn't even really tripping on them, but now I kind of like them. But like I say, if you got 500 or something close, then hit my line, man. You already know what the number is. 678-830-6690. Female smoothly on the DL, but catch that on the DL Hughley. This is S-O-S-O. -S -O. Chicago ones, man. I came from, man. They kind of nice, man. They kind of nice. So there you have it. I appreciate you reflecting on this Air Jordan 1 with me. Next week, I got something special. Another Air Jordan 6. I know I've been doing quite a few Air Jordan 6s lately. Air Jordan 6s is fire to me, man. I really rock with the Air Jordan 6. So, um, yeah, I got another 6 coming up for you next week. I can't believe we're going to be 15 weeks in next week, man. Thank you. For coming along on this ride with me, man. I really appreciate it. Check my IG for various sneakers. I got a bunch of stuff available. The um, grade school burgundy ones are very, very limited. Uh, one of my local stores only has 18 of those where they have 30 of the pink and blacks. So, if you want those burgundy and grade school, holla at me. If you need them in men's, holla at me. If you need the pink and black ones, holla at me. They are all available right now for pre-order. In addition to dead stock Yeezys and other Air Jordans available for, for order of four, you can buy them right now. They're available right now. I definitely appreciate you. It's your boy, Detroit Dave.